Don't censor yourself on my behalf Dress speaks volumes without a breath I told you I don't regret the times we had Um, my name is Ruth Germain, and welcome to Streets Alive. We're standing beside We Are One. We Are One is a form of environmental commentary. Um, we're looking for peace for the world. On the reverse, we have more information about it, but really, I'm trying to make people aware of what's going on on the planet right now and to question some of the choices that we're making. Well, I think art's important in a community because I think, uh, first of all, society is judged by um, art. Um, I mean, the uh, you know, where art is, is where you're going to find um, a lot of uh, people that think outside of the box. They love the idea of uh, being able to see the, the inspirations that different people provide. And I think it provides a, a, a whole different uh, feel to any town or any city when they have a vibrant artistic uh, um, community going. I haven't been the only one to prove it's tough. so much why'd you follow me all the way of no now your ghost has to find all the things that haunt me in this town every sober night now any of those nights in your shoes unless they fit There are times when I'm unsure Who I am and who you were May not understand My name is Rebecca Allen. Uh, this is my uh, first year doing Streets Alive. And uh, this is my piece here. And uh, I was uh, sponsored by Scott's Garden Center. It was uh, a great experience, a lot of work, uh, but really, really worth it. it was, I think it took me 75 hours to make this piece. Fingers from the 
comfort. Hi, my name is Nancy Lim. I'm an interior designer, and I was asked to contribute to this year's um, Aurelia Street Survive Outdoor project. My particular sponsor this year is Apple Annie's Cafe. Uh, the name of my piece is called How Do You Like Them Apples? So knowing that Apple Annie's is my sponsor, I tried to play up on that, and every piece has some sort of comical reference to do with apples, or the letter A. I'd have to say out of all the years that I've contributed to these projects, this was the most challenging. And the reason being is we were given such a broad slate to work with. Uh, we were basically just given the base planter, a rectangular shape, and from that create anything out of it. So in past years where you're given the actual shape to work with, you had your limitations and boundaries. This one, it was carte blanche. You could do whatever you wanted to.